Hello, my name is Benji and welcome to Dice vs Cards. Today we review photosynthesis in 5 minutes or less. We're going to find out if abstract strategy and action points make good bedfellows. But most importantly, we consider whether there is anything more ironic than cardboard forests. Photosynthesis is an abstract strategy game where placement of your seeds and trees on the hexagonal board is key. With the sun shining from a different direction every turn, a badly planted tree may well turn out to be perfectly placed later in the round. Each turn is as simple as gaining light from your trees. The bigger they are, the more points they give you, and the longer shadow they cast behind them, and then using that light as a resource. It features action points, where you spend light to carry out every one of the available actions. Be it buying the necessary seeds and trees for you to place on the board, planting said seeds, always a maximum distance from a friendly tree dependent on its size, growing them and other small trees into larger ones, with the ultimate goal to grow your tree to the largest of three sizes where you can then recycle it for points. It can get highly competitive, especially at three or four players where things can get quite crowded. Each turn sees you gathering light, carrying out your actions, and then turning the sun round the notch, giving even well-placed saplings a chance to produce for you. After one complete rotation, you'll then repeat that process three times, with you gaining more points from recycling trees that are near the centre of the board. So why might you like the game? Well, if you like jockeying for position on a communal board to get ahead, then this is a suitably strategic offering. Nothing too heavy, mind you. And even with the best planning, you're relying on others to give you some space. But there's always a move to make, with the sun's rotation adding a real nice slant on forward planning. It's an attractive game for sure. If you find yourself pining for prettier abstract games, then this certainly does leave an attractive footprint on the table. Yes, it takes an age to punch out all of the trees, and they fit together just about well enough, but once you're midway through the game, this really is a looker. It's a logical and uniform game. Each size tree casts X spaces of shadow, costs X light to buy, and can spread a seed X spaces. Any deviation from this, such as growing trees, is also neatly highlighted on your player board, leaving you to concentrate all your brain power on making the most optimal plays. But why might you not like it? Well, it only offers one path to victory, through the recycling of large trees, which means the pattern of the mid to late game can get somewhat predictable fairly quickly and time in the curve of your light expenditure to get the most points is a little too narrow in terms of gameplay variety. There are also some missed opportunities. Player scaling on a fixed size board definitely needs some work, and the two advanced variants are either meh, or what should have been a teaser of many more subtle rule changes that with a bit of design effort could have elevated this game and given it more replayable variety. For similar games, you might want to try this if you liked Santorini or Takinoko. But when all's said and done, this is an elegant, polished game where if you can forgive its design missteps that lie outside of the core mechanics, then you'll love getting this to the table. However, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Is this all a big dream, Oki? No, Willow. I'm afraid not. We're not in Sherwood Forest anymore.